when should they, what's the order they should do for leveling up? Should they pull their slides in before uh, they level up? Oh. Should they, when they hook up, should they pull their slides in before they hook back up to it? What's the right order? And they wanna know what size fuse should they put between the battery and the inverter? Welcome to Todd's Two Minute Tech Tip Tuesday, brought to you by Big Beard Battery. Visit bigbeardbattery.com. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button. That way you don't miss anything. One more, yeah, you actually have two more questions. I do, we'll do All two right. of them in one here. All right, here we go. Okay, so Rather here's fire. the first one. I see this a lot in uh -huh. the different Facebook groups. Right. People are doing a small inverter system. Maybe they're using a factory pre-wire yeah. and they're just putting a little 2,000, 3,000 watt inverter and they wanna know what size fuse should they put between the battery and the inverter? How do they figure out what size right. fuse to go? All right, let's go over this. All right, so when we're sizing fuses, you never, fuse larger than the capable, um, uh, the amperage capability of the cable. So you have to have the proper size cable, right? First and foremost, I'm also a big proponent. The cable should be able to handle more amp flow through it than what the load really requires. But you said a 2000 watt inverter. If it's at 12 volts, 2000 watts, you're going to be right around 16, 17 amps, right? So I need a, I need a cable big enough to handle 16 or 17 amps at 120 volts. 160, maybe 170 amps at 12 volts. So I take the 2000 divided by 12, 2000 divided by 12, I'll have about 170 amps. I want um, my cable to be big enough to handle the 170 amps, and I want the fuse big enough to handle the 170 amps, but I never want my fuse larger than the cable, That's right? So I need a cable that can easily handle 200 or 250 amps continuously. Then I would, I would fuse to that, whether it's going to be 200 or maybe even 250, right? I would rather have my cable and my fuse larger than my uh, load demand. Because in the RV, when we run that load, we're running it for six, seven, eight hours, right? It's continuous. It's going to heat up a little bit. Better is going to have to work a little bit harder to try and get that power over there. And we might pull a little bit more than the 170 just to get that delivered. So I want a little breathing room, but I never want my fuse to be bigger than my cable. And that was really quick. We did that in less than two minutes. So let's give you another one. Then. All right. New RVers out there yeah. they're leveling up. When should they, what's the order they should do for leveling up? Should they pull their slides in before uh, they level up? Oh. Should they, when they hook up, should they pull their slides in before they hook back up to it? What's the right order? All right, so if it's a towable, okay, you have uh, these slides in there and they're literally boxes fitting in square holes, right? And so if it's a towable, you will always put your landing gear down first and level first, right? Because that's a sliding box. It just simply comes out. And um, if it's not level, right, it's already not designed to be uh, weighted uh, evenly anyway. Refrigerator's on one side and hardly anything's on the other. So when your slides go out, this side over here has to work harder. Well, if you add to that unlevelness, then this whole slide, this moving slide can do what we call a rack. It just gets out of place, right? And now whatever motor you have or whatever track you have gets bound up, right? So to prevent that, we want to level first, right? and then let the slides go out as evenly as possible, come back in as evenly as possible. So towables, level first. Now, if it's a motor coach, you have to read what the manufacturer says. Some manufacturers may say, you're gonna um, put your landing gear down first, then your slides out. But a lot of manufacturers will say, slides out first, then landing gear, right? So motor coaches, you really gotta read the documentation from your specific RV. The towables, that's going to be fifth wheels and bumper pulls, landing gear or uh, stabilizers first, then slides. Now, what about reconnecting to your truck? Slides in, then connect? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So when you say connect, you mean uh, slides Hooking back up to your truck. Right. So slides in first, then, then hook up back up to your truck because you're still level, right? So on a towable, you always want a level surface for those slides to go in and come out. I mean, it's a, it's a three-dimensional object sliding across the floor. If I do this in any direction, you can see that it's gonna slide off. So keep it level. So slides out, um, landing gear down first, slides out last on, uh, that's uh, setting it up, tearing it down, slides in first, then set it to your truck. Well, Joe, I'm glad you're here. Um, 
appreciate the uh, questions and the tech tips. Do you have anything to add? So we do have two channels. We have our keto channel, which is Two Crazy Ketos, all about how we lost our weight and maintained our health and weight loss. But the better one is the Two Crazy Campers. That's where we do campground reviews, kind of document our journeys. And right now we are doing a giant build in our brand new Alliance Avenue 30BH. And like you said, 24 volt twin inverters and you know, make sure you come check out the channel. Take a look at the build. I'm learning everything about it at the Big Beer Battery Solar Clinic. Bam, there you go. Hey, if you got questions about batteries or want to go ahead and put in a solar system, but need some guidance, head over to BigBeardBattery.com, fill out the solar design form, and one of our certified solar experts will give you a call and get you started. <laughs> That's right. Put the biggest one in you can, and uh, it'll never blow. No, that's just a joke. Don't do that, right? Don't do that. Don't stop watching at this point because that's just fun. Kind of said it wrong the first time. So I didn't say leveling up. You start off like with a Toyota and then go up to a Ram and then finally get to a Ford. That's leveling. That's the right order. Yeah. All right. Not confusing at all.